Alma? Can I come in? Marion? Sure, the door's unlocked. Hi, Yuma. Hi, Marion. Wait, something's different. Yeah, since I'm back to being me, I thought I'd change into something more feminine. Does it look weird? Oh no, I think it looks great. Oh, that's good. Huh? You're a little close. Yuma. She's so close, I can feel her breath on my ear. What? Thank you for freeing me from it, and freeing it from me. Huh? Honestly, I knew I couldn't save Et. I knew he wasn't coming back. But I felt so bad for him. I couldn't let myself leave him behind. Yoahim probably took advantage of that. And then he brainwashed me. But now, it just makes me feel even worse for it. They used him as a tool to keep me trapped. But you freed us. So thank you. From both of us. Marion. Yuma. Hirika! What? Uh, well, um... Yuma, are you seeing things? Or... N no, Marion, turn around! Look behind you! Huh? Oh! Am I interrupting something? No, I mean, uh... It wasn't anything important. I just wanted to thank Yuma. I see. Yep. Well, I'll head back to my room. See you later, Yuma. Hey, Marion! Were you not finished with Marion? No, I mean... Never mind. I see. Then may I come in? Uh, sure. Um, Kirika? Yes? What is it? Is there any reason you dropped by? Oh, you object, perhaps? No, it's not that. I just wasn't expecting it. Understandable, I suppose. Truthfully, I'm somewhat surprised as well. I cannot say for certain why I came. When I saw Marion enter your room, I grew so curious to see what she wanted, I ended up watching from the door. And as I watched, a strange frustration overcame me. I began to wonder why she was there and not I. I couldn't control myself. Sorry. If I had noticed you sooner, we could have included you in the conversation. Uh, but that's not precisely what I wanted. I had no particular desire to speak to Marion, but... Uh. Now that I think about it, I think I was jealous. Of Marion? Yes. She's very direct. She seems so unfazed when expressing her true feelings. I still have trouble being that honest with myself. So I found myself wishing I was like her. Why? I don't see why it would be that difficult for you. Maybe. I'd like to, truly. Somewhere inside, I'm still afraid. Afraid? Of what? A long time ago, when I was still a child, I was betrayed. By someone I loved and trusted very dearly. When you were a kid, was that Beatrice? Yes. Sorry, did I bring up bad memories again? I've just been curious about what happened for a while now. No, you needn't worry. You were right. I was talking about Beatrice. It was when I still lived in Wellant, on the mainland. 
As a Diva Magica, I often felt distant from others around me. My only two friends were my attendants, Rinna and Beatrice. Beatrice is a Dark Elf. Due to certain elements of Valentine history, her people are treated with hostility there. What happened? During Ragnarok, a group of Dark Elves betrayed the dragons. They stole one of the Armonics and sided with Deus. Since then, all Dark Elves have been looked down on as traitors and kin of traitors. Even now, that hatred still runs deep. I heard there was some politically charged opposition when Beatrice was appointed to be my attendant as well. But Rinna and I loved her like an older sister. But then, she... Then she... She tried to steal an harmonic. The very same harmonic that I'm using now. Then, she escaped before they could catch her. I never knew the details of the incident. That's all I was told. Oh, so... You and Rinna didn't actually see it happen. No. Rinna and I were out in the woods at the time. Then it could have been a mistake, right? Rinna said she couldn't believe Beatrice would do something like that. In truth, I feel the same. Even now, I cannot truly accept it. But the way she just left us, without a word, we were... heartbroken. As the days went by, the pain was all I could think of. I started... giving in to doubt. What if the Beatrice I knew and loved was a mask? What if she had been planning to betray us from the very beginning? <sighs> it's so hard to know if I was thinking for myself, or falling prey to the prejudices I grew up with. But... When I think of how she abandoned us, I... I just... Kirika, that's enough. It's okay. You don't have to force yourself. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to put you through all that again. It was insensitive of me to push you. Really, it's not your fault. And besides, not all of those memories are sad. I had Rinna. She supported me all this time. Sonia, Agnum, Marion, and now you. It is thanks to all of you that I found the courage to trust in others again. I know in my heart that everyone will always be here for me. I'm not afraid of you abandoning me, as Beatrice did. I am not yet as honest or expressive as Marion, perhaps, but as best I can, I am learning to open up. I see. That's good. Yes. I'm sorry if I worried you. I think I've bothered you enough for one night. Anything further can wait until tomorrow. Okay. See ya.